more testing here around for 13 weeks uh, to remind Tufts University and President Anthony Monaco that the Confucius Institute is an arm of the Chinese government, the, uh, the totalitarian regime that it represents. Uh, we are here every Saturday from 1 to 2.30 p.m. to remind them that they need to terminate their financial and contractual relationship with the Chinese government. We are here to stand up for human rights. We are here for our sisters and brothers and our love for Tibetan people, Uyghur people, the people of Hong Kong, the people of Taiwan, and the people of Southern Mongolia, and anyone who's been repressed by this regime. We stand in solidarity because of our shared love of justice, our shared love for voice, and our shared love for truth-telling. We are a community who will not stand for oppression, cultural genocide, forced labor and indoctrination camps. We stand here today in front of the Confucius Institute at Tufts that is funded, staffed, and controlled by the Chinese government. I want to be clear, this is not a question of opportunity to study Chinese culture or language. We know that Tufts can find any other Chinese exchange program that isn't directly sponsored by an authoritarian state. What this is about is about distorting academic discourse, silencing defenders of human rights, and repressing open dissent or discussion, and that is a growing threat to the integrity of our academic institutions, and in turn a threat to democracy everywhere. And so by putting pressure on Tufts, making our voices heard, right? As well as, you know, we have so many people in our community who are students, alumni, people who work at Tufts, withholding, right? Our well, donations, our support, right, right, as well as being incredibly Monaco. vocal about this issue is incredibly week? important because that is how we can get this institute closed weeks? down. We've seen it done before right, with UMass we'll Boston. We're ready to do it again here for Tufts. Just three years ago, Cambridge, Ringe and Latin, Cambridge's public high school inaugurated a Confucius classroom. There is evidence that Tufts Confucius Institute right here tried to start a Confucius classroom in Somerville around the same time. As a school committee member in Somerville, a city where the public schools are working very hard to become more inclusive, I cringe at the way my colleagues in Cambridge were played by the Chinese government. I don't have to tell you that the Chinese government is brutally repressing the Tibetan people. Tufts investigated its Confucius Institute and found no evidence of undue influence. I'm sorry, President Monaco. I know Tufts professors and administrators are top notch, but this is the Chinese government we're talking about. They were able to hide the internment of one to three million Uyghur and Turkic speaking people in concentration camps for more than two years. I do not for one second buy that a group of Tufts administrators can outsmart the Chinese government. And as someone whose job it is to represent Somerville's children and families, I'm telling you to sever your ties with the Chinese government. Chinese government out of Tufts. Chinese government out of Tufts. CCP 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 have got to go. Go home. CCP have got to go. Right 都其實是未知之數,因為國安法根本就可以用任何的理由去拘捕你啦。
直到我哋達成到我哋嘅訴求為止